we've had uh, several market studies going on. Uh, they heard from one of our independent uh, analysis uh, today. And I would tell you, I think um, there was some real strengths to the Las Vegas market. Uh, there were, it's clear that the Las Vegas market uh, has become a more di diversified market, uh, more broadly involved with entertainment, uh, hosting big events. Um, and there's, a, there's a, a growth to the market. You can see the trajectory when you, when you look at the market data of where it's going. So there were some very positive things in that. And, but we'll continue. We have some more analysis we're going to do. We look at it from everything from season ticket holders to suite holders to the type of market that we see today versus what we're going to see going forward. And it's, um, th it was very good research and it was very good analysis. I had an NFL owners meeting today in Irving, Texas with uh, Ed Graney and Ed. No big news came out of this today, but one maybe surprising development in that Roger Goodell, the NFL commissioner, spoke in positive tones about Las Vegas and the market really for the first time. I don't think hell froze over, but it came, it came very close. I've never heard him so positive about Las Vegas, and I think that that is giving us somewhat of a kind of roadblock here, or road map, I should say, to where I think it's more and more positive that the Raiders are coming to Las Vegas. When he starts talking in positive terms about the market like he did today, mm -hmm. I'm going to be shocked now, one, if Mark Davis doesn't apply for relocation, and two, if it's not approved. All right. Now, what's the next step? Because Mark Davis, we talked to him about when he might file for relocation and when there might be a vote. Well, he's hoping he files in February because that means he's in the Super Bowl. But he will file the day or the week after the day after essentially his season ends. So whenever the Raiders season's over, he'll apply to relocate. And then I don't know about you, but the writers I talk to here that cover the league on a daily basis think that they could and would call a special vote to get it over with and to get it moving. They could essentially wait until March, their meetings. Uh, actually, ironically, um, I believe are in Arizona the, uh, around the same time as the Final Four. But I think if he applies, like, much like they did with the Rams and the Chargers and the Raiders back in January uh, of last year, they would call the vote. All right, the first day he can file for relocation is January 2nd, the day after the regular season ends. But as he told us, Hopefully the Raiders are going to be in the Super Bowl in February, yeah. and then he would uh, wait a little bit longer. Now, we talked to some other owners today, Jim Irsay being one who uh, said there's really nothing positive in terms of uh, the markets in San Diego and Oakland. Yeah, and specifically to the Oakland uh, Stadium project, it's obviously that the, they're not big fans of this project as it is written today. Uh, they have a problem like with past projects about a developer having a window to have exclusive rights to developing the land. They don't want it that way. So as the project in Oakland stands right now, they're not fans of it. Um, maybe it's rewritten up there, maybe they do things and they work with them longer, but let's be honest, January and February are going to get here pretty quick. I think he's applying for relocation. I don't think that's ever going to change. I think he wants to relocate and I think it's going to be hard to tell him no especially if you don't like what Oakland has in a stadium deal and from what we heard from them today they appear to be positive about the Las Vegas market. Yeah the NFL and the owners do not seem uh, overly enthusiastic about the uh, Oakland yeah. stadium developments. All right two minor disappointments today Jerry Jones the Cowboys owner did not stop to talk with the media he had somewhere else to go he rushed out Dean Spanos also kind of rushed out of here he did meet with the media briefly and it sounds like Dean Spanos is gone and uh, headed out of San Diego. Yeah, I think he is. Um, the writer from San Diego I spoke to, know him very well, uh, got the sense that when Dean said, I'll decide at the first of the year, that he's already made the decision. I know there was talk inside the room today. Uh, they came to some sort of agreement financially with the Chargers in L.A. in terms of the relocation fee, how long he would have to pay for it. So I think people in San Diego, while depressed and uh, you know sad they're going to lose their team, I think they've come to accept it. It's been going on for so long now. I think they've kind of come to accept that they're going to lose them and I'll be shocked much like I'm, I'm certain Mark Davis is going to file for relocation I'm almost as convinced that uh, the first week of January you'll see Dean Spano say he's going to LA all right that's a report from the NFL owners meeting we're not at the Motel 6 we're at the Four Seasons in uh, Irving Texas